Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in which we are going to see why we need to convert the DTOs that we get from an API to models that we want to use in our app, even though the model and the DTO look the same. Why do we need to convert it if it looks the same? So recently I got this issue on GitHub, just a question asking me that same question, why do we need to convert that? And I have to answer this answer because it's an important thing. So here I have an app, as you can see, that just shows a recipe with its tips, which are just two strings. And if we check the app, we can now close the emulator. How does it look like? Let's start with our data. We have two APIs and a repository. Here in our repository, we are using the first API to get the recipe. If we check the first API, we have a recipe API1 DTO. So we have a DTO in which we have a recipe title and recipe tips as a string. If we check that API, we just have a function to get a recipe and it returns of course a recipe api1 dto and the title and the tips as a string again after each recipe we go to a new line so very simple we return that in our repository like this now let's check our view model as you can see we have an instance of my repository and the state that is my recipe api1 dto and in the init block of my view model i just update my state and get the recipe from the repository very simple in the activity or in the screen i'm sorry i have a column an instance of my view model my state and there i just show two texts each one shows something the title and the tips and we've seen the app it's really normal it just shows those so everything is good and now i have decided that i want to use a different api i found a cheaper api a richer api something is good with the new API and I want to use it. I don't want to use this API anymore. So this is a data related thing. I should not change anything in the presentation, anything in the logic. I should only update my data because this is a data related thing. So I'll go to my data, to my repository to use the new API. So here I use the second API and here as well, I rename this one. And here I use the second API. Let's import that. Now I need to change what my repository returns. Okay, let's import that as well. And good, now I'm just using my new API. I can run the app and since I have separation of concerns, everything is great. Let's run the app and see what will happen. We have an error, which is not good. And it doesn't make sense. I'm trying to do separation of concerns. I'm trying to change my data, but nothing else should be affected. But my view model is affected and this shouldn't happen. But why does it happen? Because my view model needs a recipe API 1 DTO, but my repository gives me the second one. And now I have to change it right here. As you can see, update this one, import it, and now I'm good. So I have no error. But let's check our screen if everything is good or not. If we check the screen, we have another error. Why? Because simply, the DTO in my second API is not the same as the first API, they are different. In the first API, it has two strings, but in the second API, a string in the list. The tips here are not a string, the tips are a list of string, which is different from what I had. And my screen can't process that. I need to change this from a text to a lazy column or something. And this again doesn't make sense. Why would I need to update my view because I updated my data? This is not separation of concerns. And this doesn't make sense. And now to fix this, we need to use a mapper and a model, a global model that we want to use in our app to actually not have this issue after changing a data source. Now let's fix this. But first let's go to our view model, use the first one again like this. So let's just go back to what we had. And then in my repository, let's go back and use the first one here. Let me just do a control Z. Good. Now everything is good. I just need now to use a mapper and a model. So to do that, I can create a new package called domain.model. I will have my model there, which is going to be a data class called recipe. Here I will have now two strings. So var, let's say recipe title of type string. We can copy this now for the tips. Now let's create a mapper to map these DTOs to my model here okay in my data i create a new package called mapper and a file called a recipe for example mapper i need two functions 
which are of course extension function the first one is my recipe api one dto dot two recipe and this needs to return now a recipe return recipe recipe title let me just remove these is going to be recipe title and then recipe tips is recipe tips now let's create another mapper for the other function let's create some space down here now this is of course the second dto and here of course i get a list of string so i need to convert this list of string to a string to do that we can join it to a string the separator let's do after each tip we go to a new line like this so now i created my mapper in which i convert these two dto's to my recipe now let's go to my repository and return my recipe like this okay so here of course my api gives me a dto i need just to do two recipes so i convert that now in my presentation again i need to use now my recipe and here in my screen everything is great i can run the app but now i'm using a mapper and a model so everything looks great and now I decide to change my API to a different API. So since that's a data related thing, I go to my repository and just use the second API, which is two, two, and two, which is the new API, of course, let's import that. And we can delete this. Here, I'm using the second API and I get my recipe and I convert it to a recipe. So I just changed my API. Do I have errors again? Let's check the view model. Nope, I have no errors. Let's check the screen and I have no errors. I'm literally swiping two different APIs and I have no errors. And those APIs have different DTOs. And if I run the app, the app runs and I get my tips and recipe title. Even though they are different DTOs, that one is a list, that one is a string, but everything is great my presentation is not affected and this is the power of using mappers and the model that we can use in our app and now i'm going to give you an example which is the movies info app that is on github and now here is the model that i use in my app which is media let's say i didn't use this and i just used the media dto that i have and then after that i want to change to a different api that has a different dto or something let's check where i actually have to change this literally in 105 places do you see how painful this is i'd have to go to 105 places and fix the errors in there that doesn't make sense and that's not good and that is not separation of concerns we should use mappers we should use models like this and then just convert our dto's our entities to these models that we can use then in our app and that's it for this video which is another clean architecture video see you and bye